After watching this video, you should be able to install CUDA Toolkit either on Linux or Windows quite easily. Not only that, I am also going to explain what CUDA is and what each command means. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. CUDA or Compute Unified Device Architecture is NVIDIA's parallel computing platform plus programming model. In simple words, that is what makes NVIDIA such a valuable company. And that is why they have such a choking grip on GPU market. In plain words, CUDA enables you to write C, C++ Python code that runs on GPU, not just the CPU. You get thousands and thousands of tiny codes to crunch math, train AI models, render physics, mine crypto, whatever needs raw flops. Now, in order to get it installed on Linux or Windows, the steps are same. So I'm going to show you the Linux one, which are a bit more happening. So all you need to do is to click on your respective operating system, click on Linux, and then click on whatever architecture is. Mostly people have this x86-64, just click there and then click on your respective operating system. Now for operating system, I am going to use this Ubuntu system, which is 22.04. If you have any other flavor, just select that operating system. Also, I have one GPU card already, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So it is quite a recent GPU, which is quite good. And this CUDA should be compatible with that and they also have a compatible compatibility matrix on this page if you're looking to rent a gpu on very good price you can find the link to mass compute with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus in the video's description now once you have selected your operating system architecture then select your operating system as i just showed you my is ubuntu and i am using 22.04 then it gives you installer types as how exactly you want to install it. There is Deb Local, which primarily contains everything, driver plus toolkit, big download. And then we have Deb Network, which is tiny dot, you know, meta package. It downloads only the pieces your system still needs. Very, very small initial pull. And then we have run file local. This is <clears throat> the NVIDIA's raw driver plus toolkit bundle. You handle kernel modules, you know, GCC compiler and most of other stuff. It gives you a lot of control and it is quite easy to break your system if you run this in a wrong way. So I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to go with tab local. That is most people would be using. Once you have that, all you need to do is to run all of these commands. So let me first quickly explain, or maybe I will run it first so that, you know, you could see something in action too. And then we will go from there. So <clears throat> maybe I will just paste here the commands one by one, and then I will start explaining. First and foremost, I am going to use this wget, which already or which primarily is a downloader, which comes with uh, all the Ubuntu flavors. So this, what this is doing, it is downloading a priority pin file, which tells the uh, package provider in Ubuntu to always prefer. NVIDIA's repo packages over Ubuntu's old one. That is all it is doing. <clears throat> then we need to drop this pin where Ubuntu can actually see it. For that, you would need to use the sudo move command. So we have moved it. And then we have to download the Debian package with the help of wget command. Now, let me paste it. So this is where it is getting the fat local repo around 4 GB of size. I think it may be higher. You just have to check the latest version. It's not the toolkit itself. It's a mini APT repository, which has been stuffed into a single dot .dep file. So you see the size is <clears throat> close to 4 gig, I believe. The download speed is quite good. And it is already done. Okay, that is cool. Now, once you have done that, next step is pretty straightforward where you are just going to install that mini repo. 
for that simply use this command with dpkg and it is going to install it here so let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time unpacking and all that stuff while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application which empowers you to build manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will find their link in video's description too and that part is also done next we need to copy the gpg key so that it is trusted and that's done and now we need to refresh the package list as we have downloaded few more you don't take too long and now you can install the actual CUDA toolkit, which is this CUDA toolkit 13. This install and VCC, Kablas and a lot of other things. And that takes around two to three minutes. So let's wait for it to get installed while that happens. Let's talk a bit more about this CUDA and stuff. One thing I want to show you is that if you go to my channel and if you just search with CUDA, you will see heaps and heaps of videos. Most of them are about alternative of nvidia chips and cuda now you will see that i have been covering lot of projects lot of tooling lot of models which are trying to provide some alternative of cuda nothing against cuda cuda is no doubt one of the best pieces of software out there it is just that uh, we need more affordable and more accessible gpus so that <clears throat> prices will come down and we should have these gpus in our home labs anyway so <clears throat> if you're interested in CUDA programming or what exactly is CUDA in more detail or in short I have done heaps of videos so just check the channel and you should be able to find something one or another while it installs let if I click on Windows again it is just x86 architecture and if you go here all you need to do is to just download this XE and then click click next next that's it that is the windows one it is quite easier and meanwhile that cuda toolkit is being installed so let's wait for it to finish and there you go the cuda toolkit is installed and these are all the steps which you needed to run and then if you want to check out the version and verify it once you the first time you run it you won't see anything because you have to put it in the path and you can see that i have put put the CUDA in the path you can also just source it into your bash profile and after that once you run it it is going to show you this new CUDA 13 release so this is how uh, you run it without any glitch because there are a lot of confusion out there so hopefully this will be helpful please let me know if you still have any questions happy to help out please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot Thank you for all the support.